All right, this is the optional audio version. So if you prefer things to be read to you, then you can go ahead and listen to this because I'm going to read the article. Um, if you would rather read it on your own, uh, you can click on the section right before this um, to do the article and notes. If you are going to listen, that's great. Uh, I'm going to read it in just a second, but you do need to make sure that your notes are out and that um, you are taking notes as you are listening to this being read to you, okay? Um, but another option is to just read it on your own if you open the section before this uh, video right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Make sure your packet is out. You're on 1D notes for the absolute value article and notes, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So just reading through it. Feel free to pause if you need to write something down or go back, uh, rewind if needed, but here we go. The Absolute Truth About Absolute Value by Kimberly Wasilik. Absolute value is a concept that you come across in middle school math after you learn about negative numbers. Before we go any further, I will tell you that this is one of the easiest topics you will ever learn about in math class. The absolute value is a num of a number is simply its distance from zero. The important thing for you to remember is that distance is always positive, so absolute value is always positive. Sometimes we say this is the magnitude of a number. There is a special symbol for absolute value. For example, if you want to know the absolute value of 15, you write with the lines around it abs uh, of 15. That stands for absolute value. For positive numbers, the absolute value of a number is just equal to the number itself. In the example we just examined, the absolute value of 15 equals 15. That seems too simple, but it is true. Remember that the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. How far is 15 from zero? 15. The same is true for any positive number. The absolute value of 165 is 165. The absolute value of 3,187 is 3,187. Now let's consider negative numbers. It is helpful to picture a number line when you first learn about the absolute value of negative numbers. So you got the number line right there. They've got 0 in the middle, 1 through 10 positive on the right, negative 1 through negative 10 uh, negatives on the left. To find the absolute value of negative 6, take a look at the number line. How far away from 0 is negative 6? Since negative 6 is 6 spaces away from 0, and you see we've got absolute value of negative 6, since it's 6 places away from 0, the absolute value of it is 6. How about the absolute value of negative 19? Since absolute value is the distance from 0, absolute value of negative 19 equals 19. So for negative numbers, the absolute value is always the opposite or positive of what that number, or of that number. <clears throat> the last thing that you need to know about absolute values is how to compare them. Of course, I mean with less than or greater than symbols. Here, don't think about the number inside the absolute value bars. Think about its distance from zero. <clears throat> Even though 15 is larger than negative 19, since negative 19 is farther from zero than 15, negative, the absolute value of negative 19 is greater than the absolute value of 15. As you can see, absolute value really is easier than it seems.